Well, welcome back to the blacksmith shop. This morning we're going to take a look at the Harbor Freight 65 pound cast steel anvil doyle. I have not opened this yet since I purchased it. So you're going to see the very same thing that I see as I open this box on the 65 pound doyle anvil. And you can see it's nicely packed, protected by cardboard covers over the horn and face of the anvil. Plastic wrap around it. We'll get it out of the box here. Cast steel. Well, we might get it out of the box. This is packed in there, that's for sure. Get one more flap out of the way. We'll just cut the box open. We don't plan on returning this to Harbor Freight. So we don't need the box. And you can see here, it's nicely packed with lots of cardboard around it. Cone, cardboard cone over the corner of the anvil to protect it. And a nicely polished surface. Cardboard aside. And we'll go ahead and get the plastic wrap off. It's got a little grease on the polished anvil face. So it didn't rust on the way over from China. There we go. Well, that's a dandy. Look at that machine surface on there. Nice horn. Tapers up to a nice little point. A little rough on the back end. A couple little nicks. I don't know if you can see those nicks in the face right there. Three nicks. That's the way it came out of the box. It's got quite sharp corners on the anvil face, which will radius some of that off so that we don't gouge our metal when we do a forging. Now it's got a square hardy hole and a round pritchel hole. A little larger diameter pritchel hole than I'd care for, but it's three quarters of an inch. A square hardy hole is three quarters of an inch. This is not quite round. And the casting, they've got more oval shape, but that's okay. Um, now they say that it's got quite a rebound on it. So we'll just take it. Uh, we've got an inch and a quarter carbon steel ball. And um, face is just a little over six inches off. And we'll drop it here and see where it goes. Oh, <laughs> I didn't go very far, did it? Try it again. I can do that. Good thing the door isn't open, it would have rolled right out the door. Let's try that one more time. We're looking at about a 20 inch drop here. Oh boy, that came right back up to about here, so that's pretty nice. Now, slide this over a little bit. We'll go back on a heel and see what happens here. Not quite the same rebound as in the center of the anvil. I think the center's got the best rebound. And they've got a rock roll hardness on here. And it looks pretty good. Uh, but we'll see what happens when we start forging on this anvil. Like I say, I'm going to radius these corners just a little bit so they don't gouge the metal when I forge it. I'm going to make up a little anvil stand for this. And uh, attach the legs on the anvil stand. Put it on a piece of one inch solid steel plate and tubing uh, for the legs and see how that goes. Once I get it mounted on there, we'll give her a test and do a video of that so everybody can see that. If you like this video, push the uh, I like button down there. If you want to subscribe, do that. Follow us and um, have a safe day. Thanks.